everyone. I am Dr. Roshi Satija from God's Grace IVF Center and today we'll be talking about anti-mullerian hormone or AMH. What it is, how is it helpful in planning or treatment of fertility, why should it be done so, what is AMH? AMH or anti-mullerian hormone is basically secreted from very small follicles in the ovary. They contain immature eggs. So this AMH helps us know how much is the ovarian reserve of a particular lady. The AMH tells us about the quantity or the number of eggs. It does not tell us about the quality. Quality of the egg is normally assessed by the age of the lady. AMH Why is it important? With the help of an AMH, we get to know the number of eggs in the lady. So it helps us plan the fertility treatment. It helps a lady know how much of reserve she has, so accordingly she can plan her pregnancy. If her AMH is low, she can plan early and if the AMH is a good number, then she can plan accordingly. AMH value of approximately more than 4 nanograms per ml tells us that the lady has polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS. Normal value of AMH is approximately 1.5 to 3 nanograms per ml. It normally has a better prognosis. Values of less than 0.5 nanogram per ml are considered low MH. Though it does not tell us whether the lady would get pregnant or no. Even with values which are very low, lady has good chances of getting pregnancy looking at the other parameters, especially the age. AMH is a test which can be done any time of the day. AMH basically helps us plan protocols of fertility when we are doing IVF on the lady. It helps us assess or plan the dose of injections for the lady. As in PCOS, the number of follicles are more, so the dose is planned accordingly. So today, we've spoken about AMH. If you have any queries, you can contact us. We'd be happy to help you. Thank you.